All right, this is part two. We're going to finish up with the hourly employee class and then do the driver class. We're into the uh, building of the accessors and mutators. We did the set hours. Next, we need to set the wage. Oh, forgot the void on the set hours. So it doesn't return anything. Void set wage. And the set wage had a, a restriction on it. What was that? If wage is greater than or equal to zero, wage has to be non-negative, it said. Then we can set this dot wage equal to the wage that was passed to it. That's all for set wage. Now we have to do the accessors, which is get. The wage is double, so it's going to return a double. Oh, we're doing hours first. Get hours. Again, you can do this on multiple lines, but we're not going to return this dot hours. And then public double get wage. Return this dot wage. All right, we also need a earnings earnings method. In earnings, what is that? It's just uh, how many hours you work times how much you make. So that's pretty easy. Public is going to return a double because they're both doubles. Earnings it's going to return this dot hours times this dot wage. All right, we need a two string method. So a, a thing that will return the string in the format that my program lab wants it or that whatever, whoever wants it. Two string. We're going to do this on multiple lines because it's got a lot of things going on, but we'll walk through it just like we did earlier with the unnecessary employee string. We're going to have a formatting line and then the substitution lines. So I'm going to write it out. It'll make a little more sense when we walk through it. String.format and this is with the placeholders. So it's a string colon space some string space some string new line Next line is string colon some string new line. Next line is string colon one digit float. I don't know if there's a space there or not. There might be a space here. New line string colon two digit float new line string two digit float new line okay so that's a mess let's see if we can sort through it Hourly employee is what we want the first thing to say. Get first name. Get last name. Now we can't do this dot first name because it's private. We need to use the accessor method. So if you tried this dot first name, it wouldn't work because it's private and in the super class and they don't pass along the private variables, but they do pass along the methods which have access to the variables because of how we define them. So we need to do it that way.
and this can all go on one line, but we're going to make it prettier by not. Hourly employee is this S. These two S's are first name and last name. Now we have a new line. Socials for writing a string. Get social security number. So that is this S colon. That's the get social security number. Now we have another new line. This string hours. Get hours. That is. Where are we? This is the word hours. This is a formatted. Oh, I didn't put a one in there. There needs to be a one in here. The point tells that there's one place after the decimal in this float. So this is get hours presented in a one decimal point float. And that's this. Next we have wage. Get wage. That is a two decimal point float. So that's the word wage colon the two decimal point get wage. New line. What else do we have? Earnings. And then earnings. And then we close off the parenthesis and never forget the semicolon. That earnings is this last bit here. Earnings, the word, colon, two decimal point representation. Formatted strings can seem arduous, but it really does, especially with this, it, it presents it in a way that's concise and helpful with the code. So get used to it if you're not. All right, that's the end of the two string, and that is the end of the class. So we're going to start at the top to make the driver class. We need to import Java Util Scanner because we're going to be asking for the user's input. This shouldn't be too hard. The driver. This is the public static void main. This is where the instructions come to do whatever it's supposed to do, which we'll be using all of the stuff we use or we created. Scanner, call it whatever you want. STDIN, I call it. Some people call it input. New scanner. System.in. So that sets the scanner. Print. Enter first name. I didn't declare all the variables at the start. Maybe I should have. I declare them as I go. Like here, string first equals stdin next. Maybe I should have put all the variables up here. Like, instead I could have done string first and then just set first equal to. I didn't, but oh well. System.out.print Enter last name. String last equals next. System out print. Enter social security number. SSN. Enter hours worked. This is a double. And the way I do it, maybe there's a... I, I think you're going to enter it. It's going to enter, the system is going to enter it as a 
as a integer, but we want it as a double. Maybe there's a different way to do this, but I'm going to force a double. I'm going to retrieve the next integer, but before I even assign it to hours, I'm going to force it into double form. There might be a neater way to do that. I know you can get next double, but I think it's an integer that they enter, so I do it that way. And then enter wage, double wage equals STPIN next double. So that gets the wage. Now we need to create an employee, an hourly employee. Let's call him me, Brandon. Equals new hourly employee. So this is a constructor and we need for a constructor of an hourly employee we need all of these first last double oh goodness first last this is SSN because that's what we passed there sorry about that there's five things we need first last social security number hours and wage which as we've retrieved them here are we call first last SSN hours wage so that creates Brandon an hourly employee system out print now we call Brandon is an object, and now since he's an object, he has this toString method. Where are you, toString? Oh, keep going. This thing. So if we do Brandon.toString, it will return all of this in this format. So let's do it. And then we can close it off. And close it off and I, I ran it I paused it and ran it and I found a couple of mistakes one was I didn't have a space between hourly employee if you compiled it you would have seen it and I also called string instead of string so let's try it again compile looks good run let's see Brandon Macer, my social security number, if you want to steal my identity. This is my real social security number. Hours worked, I'm going to work 35 hours. I'm going to make $32 an hour. And it didn't work. Why didn't it work? Conversion. Somewhere. must be in the two string 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 oh this little last thing let's put an end on that a new line at the very end. Now let's try it. It's always fun to figure out where you went wrong. Thirty hours worked. Thirty seven dollars an hour. Hey, alright. Seems to have worked. I think for my programming lab we'll probably need a space there which would go here, I think. What is that? Earnings. Earnings. This probably has a space to make my programming lab work. But that is everything.